Hello everyone, welcome to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. Just coming down here to check on the fish. We've got to get them a sack of feed tomorrow. They're a little bit hungry. You know, I, I turned this water off last night to the fish pond and it fell about an inch and a half. So I've definitely got to keep the water going into it. Now I know. I've been thinking about this. I'm going to go up on the plateau and uh, run by you guys an idea that I've had. Tatai and I and uh, my friend Lito have talked about these fields. Nerio's been around here a long time. Yeah. Stop it, Twinkie. Come on. I had thought that uh, I may plant Lemoncito down here in these fields. Uh, Tatai is adamant that the soil here is not good enough for Lemoncito and that it would require it would require a lot of soil prep and row prep as well to make these fields suitable. He says the Lemoncito just does not like clay soil. He says the soil we have is okay for uh, a few Lemoncito every now and then, but as an orchard it wouldn't be that viable. So I'm going, going up here on the plateau to try to show you guys the vision of what I've got tentatively planned here. Uh, There's going to be a lot of uh, back work going into it. One of the... Uh, I've got to talk to a couple of my friends who are involved with this plateau and run this by them, see what they think. But um, I don't like to see those fields down there not being used for anything. It just bugs me that they're fine. Am I going to be able to see those fields from up here anymore? That's the big question. Anyway, uh, many of you are aware of the proposed aquaponics setup that we're making with the fish pond and the area that we have basically chiseled out of the side of the hill there. A little bit of a view here. I'm going to go around over here. This plateau has really grown up. I haven't instructed anyone to come up here and do any cleaning because everything that's growing on this is helping it stabilize. That's the, that's the fish pond right back there, and that's part of the rice field, and the rice fields go back around this way. It's so, it's so overgrown up here. It's been a month since I've been up here. You really can't see the rice fields from up here anymore. What I was thinking, and it all depends on how the aquaponics setup works, this soil up here is basically sand. There really is no soil. And based on how the aquaponics test works, I was thinking to turn both those large fields down there that we have, or all those large fields, into two large tilapia ponds and using this plateau 
doggy fun and fun and games and using this plateau as a giant greenhouse and utilizing both rather than having half of our property not being used for anything I think this soil mixed about half with a gravel or even 25% add 25% gravel to it I think this sand up here would make a great medium for grow beds and screen it all in this is about 4,000 square meters up here that's flat right now that's over an acre uh, that would be a sizable greenhouse or screen house I keep saying greenhouse but it would be a screen house I'm thinking put the tilapia ponds in first and get them up and stabilized and producing fish uh, there's about there's close to 4,000 square meters down there uh, in the rice fields that can be turned into tilapia ponds so we'd have to dig that out uh, about three feet deep and put tilapia in there uh, get them going stabilized I'll get all that producing up here and then reclean the top of this plateau and uh, one section at a time start putting in screen houses up here until the whole thing is covered with screen houses I think that is a viable plan it as I say it really depends on how the aquaponic test turns out but I think this could do well up here this honestly this is just sand pick up a little handful of it here for you I mean this is what's on the plateau it's just sand and only only this side here only this area down here has more clay in it but all this area back in here is all sand we even come up the guys will come up here with the red van and sacks and this is where we've been, been we've been getting the sand for the last six months or so for all our uh, cementing projects they just dig into the side of this hill here which used to be the top of the plateau or they dig down like they did right here and just get sand this is where they've been digging here you can see the topsoil is maybe two inches deep and then it gets into a harder like almost a limestone for another foot to 18 inches below that and then below that where it's white there that's just sand that's old beet sand that's just what that is and of course I'll have to dig a new well Uh, a, a fairly large well I'll have to flush all this sand who knows how much salt is still in it probably not that much but all this sand will have to be cleaned have to be flushed out have to be washed and beds put in you guys play too rough stubby stubby stop that stubby you guys really play rough. What's up, Tiger? Stubby. Anyway, that's kind of the tentative plan is turning this all into a big screen house up here using what's available. It would involve, uh, well, it would involve eventually moving all this dirt. Anyway, it would involve. Uh, moving basically all this dirt from one pile to another it would have to be a pit would have to be dug the soil washed a bit the sand washed a bit a little gravel added to it it would have to whatever's been dug out would have to be lined 
and then the new sand and gravel mixture put in that. I think that would work great. I think that would work great. So first things first, I've got to run this by Marcel for a final approval. And at some point in the near future, start digging out for the tilapia ponds. I had always hoped that I would be able to farm something in these rice fields, but this soil is just too much, too far gone, too much of a headache, the wrong type of soil. This sandy clay is just, it'll take 10 years to get this soil the way that I would want it for row crops and probably a, a year, year and a half to get it the way that I would want it for trees. And I'm not no spring chicken anymore, the clock is ticking. I think I'd just much, much rather prefer, prefer to turn this into tilapia ponds because I know money can be made in the tilapia ponds and money can be made on vegetables here if you can get decent enough production without the pathogens in the soil and the insects eating up all your profits. So based on the results of the test aquaponics greenhouse, that's probably the way that we're all that we're gonna go here. Don't know when we're gonna get started on it but that's kind of what I've made up my mind that we're going to do. This is almost 4,000 square meters, so it would be some fairly good-sized tilapia ponds. Probably two, one back there and one long one here. I'm liking it. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment share and subscribe.